Current ESG Landscape in India 2022 Trends and Legislations ESG compliance in India currently requires only the top 1,000 companies listed on the Indian stock exchanges to undertake mandatory reporting through a business responsibility and sustainability report. However the rising importance of ESG in India today stems from the fact that investors are only willing to invest capital in green projects and are increasingly reliant on a robust ESG reporting framework. Hence Indian companies that are not mandatorily required to comply with the SEBI regulations, 2015 may voluntarily adopt a suitable ESG compliance framework, such as the Global Reporting Initiative. Major Indian business groups such as the Tata Group, Vedanta and Marico have added ESG as a new parameter in the variable pay of their CEOs and as a key factor in assessing the performance of management. The Ministry of Corporate Affairs is considering imposing a business responsibility reporting obligation on unlisted companies. Further, the Securities and Exchange Board of India SEBI, is also contemplating the following. Imposing obligations such as additional reporting, minimum holding of ESG investments on mutual funds that launch ESG schemes, and Introducing a regulatory framework to govern ESG rating providers, which are not yet subject to any formal regulation in respect of the provision of ESG-focused ratings. Recent ESG data from a SEBI-approved rating agency, showed that of the Nifty 50 companies, 40% of private sector companies are rated ESG risk A risk R indicates an ESG leader with a largely positive track record of managing material risks. Increased compliance is expected as India Incorporated aligns itself with international sustainability standards. Over a dozen companies, including Reliance Industries Limited, Wade Antar Limited, ITC Limited, JSW Energy and HDFC Bank, have committed to go carbon neutral in the coming decades. What are the high-profile instances of ESG activism in recent years? There have been several instances of activism covering aspects of ESG, including Actions relating to the protection of the environment Whistleblowing against impropriety within the organizational structure of a company, and Investor activism due to the protection of investor funds as well as stakeholder interests. For example, in February 2021, a large pharmaceuticals company and some of its executives settled, for a total amount of 13 million Indian rupees, a complaint with the Securities and Exchange Board of India SEBI, in relation to illegal diversion of funds through a related party. The non-compliance was identified after a series of whistleblower complaints were made to SEBI. Shareholder activism is on the rise in respect of governance concerns, as evidenced by the lawsuits instituted by shareholders of a prominent Indian real estate group against key managerial personnel, alleging improper management of shareholder-slash-home buyer funds. The claims were bolstered by a writ petition filed by a former employee with the Supreme Court regarding impropriety within the group. The pollution control boards are also active in protecting the environment and penalize offenders by imposing fines or restricting industrial activities through closure and seizure actions. An example is the recent closure of the Stalite Industries Limited plant in Tamil Nadu by the Tamil Nadu Government and Pollution Control Board, which was affirmed by the Supreme Court. A role is played in ESG by the board and other officers. Under the SEBI, Listing and Disclosure Requirements, Regulations, 2015, the company must designate a compliance officer, usually the company secretary, to be responsible for reporting obligations. The Companies Act, 2013 requires committees to ensure that its operations have a positive impact on ESG matters, such as an audit committee, a nomination and remuneration committee, a Corporate Social Responsibility Committee A Stakeholder Relationship Committee What best practices should be considered in relation to ESG? In India there is no specific ESG law. Instead, a plethora of laws address ESG-related matters, covering issues such as 
Environmental Protection, e.g., the Environment Protection Act, 1986, the Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act, 1974. Employee Benefits, e.g., the Factories Act, 1948, Shops and Establishment Laws, Bonus and Gratuity Laws, and Corporate Covenants, e.g., the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, 2002, the Prevention of Corruption Act, 1988, the Companies Act, 2013, the Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI, Act, 1992. Accordingly, NESG compliance framework requires the following. Undertaking a voluntary SG audit. Procuring NESG rating from an adequately qualified rating agency. Creating an effective ESG charter with focus on energy efficiency, welfare and community protection. Any questions? Ask SQL. Email info at SQL.com web www.sql.com and connect with sql on linkedin and fb